first few days been like? Oh, uh, it's been great. Uh, coming back, getting warmed up and getting acclimated into the defense. Uh, right now, I'm just learning, trying to put my best foot forward, go out there and know what I'm doing so I can play fast. Yeah, what was kind of the emotions and, and the feelings as you come back to a, new, a place you've been? Oh, man, it was great. I felt like like stepchild coming back home. Like <laughs> Everybody welcomed me in, the coaching staff, the players. I just feel at home here, man. It was great. I remember a couple years ago, we were talking in the locker room after you had a really good game. Yeah. And, and what are kind of the memories that, that are from that season that you're trying to you know bring into this one, I guess? Oh, just making plays, man. Whenever your number get called on, just go out there and make plays. That's the biggest thing. So. Right now, with me, I'm just trying to just learn the defense. So when I go out there, I'm not really thinking. I'm just going out there playing. So that's the biggest thing for me right now. How would you describe how last year went? Uh, up and down. I went through injuries last year, battle injuries. Uh, first time dealing with that, got put on IR and things like that. So I was kind of just battling that, trying to shake back. But I feel good, feel healthy now, so I'm ready to go. You feel 100% now? Oh, yeah, I'm very good. Well, what is this situation with the quarterback room? We know all about the depth issues yeah. and the injuries and stuff. Yeah. How, how has it been the, now that you've come into it? Uh, the cornerback room is good, man. We got a lot of guys that can play, a lot of experience back there. A um, couple young guys that we can coach up and things like that. But uh, for, for a whole, it's, it's a good room, a very competitive room. We just brought in a guy today, so he should add to the to the DB room too. And um, yeah, just keep it going. Yeah, what have you been told about what your role is going to be? Uh, not too much yet. Uh, just trying to learn. <laughs> That's pretty big thing for me right now. But uh, I'm looking to come in and definitely do what I do. What is the first day of pads bring? Uh, this this game, you know, it's the first time somebody you run into somebody in a while, so it just bring that physical nature. Get get your body accustomed to hitting again and things like that. So when you go out there in a couple weeks, you're ready to go. You're not not uh, set behind. What is exciting just about Flores' defense and um, what it looks like? What he's able to have you guys do? Oh, uh, it's very creative. Uh, first time I've been in a defense like this. It's very creative. Like like I said, I'm just learning. But uh, so far, what I've seen is very creative, man, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of chances to make a lot of plays. So I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm, what I'm learning so far. For sure. You had um, impact your last time here with the team, but there's, it's a, as you mentioned, new look defense. Yeah. How much different is it? Uh, it's very different. Totally different defense. Uh, Flores is very creative. Like I said. A lot, of, a lot of different things he want to do, a lot of different looks he want to bring. So it's very just a, a, a creative defense, as I can say. Like, you know, I haven't been a part of a defense like this creative, and this opportunity to make many plays. So I think it's going to be good for my skill set. Yeah, sure. pitch your skills, you yeah, think? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, explain the route to Minnesota. Uh, just, you know, I got the call coming on Friday. Me and uh, Flo been in contact a little bit, but. Um, you know, I got the call and I was ready to go. I was I'm grateful for the opportunity. So, what do you know about Brian and his defense that makes you a fit here for him? Uh, just aggressive. You know, his uh, play style is very aggressive. You're going to bring the energy. got to be good tacklers, uh, blitzers. got to be a good blitzer and uh, good in open space. And, um, you know, I'd like to hang my hat on all those. How were you able to just walk in here? Throw on all these equipment and go out there and play on the first pad in practice. Yeah, some of, some of the guys are asking, like, man, they didn't give you no ramp up or nothing like that. I was like, nah, man, but, you know, like I said, I'm I'm grateful to be in. I, that's what I wanted. I wanted to just get right to it. And uh, this, is, this is year 10, so this is a blessing. And, um, you know, it's just playing football. How, I mean, much, how grateful are you to reunite with Flo? Oh, uh, real grateful, man. You know, uh, Flo, Durante, I know so, so many of the guys that are out here with me in Miami. And, um, you know, I'm just happy to be here and happy to be back with them. How do you think they'll use it? The idea of safety at first, or will you be a uh, little, little bit all over the place? Just um, wherever they need me, wherever I'm needed, and um, you know, I'll play the best one I'm doing. What is your best position? Uh, football. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it work with Brian and you? Because you have obviously succeeded under his tools. What does he do that makes it work for you? Uh, just, I mean, football is football. You know, he's a great coach, and um, you know, they're all great coaches. And they, they're very detailed in the teaching. So, you know, if you just listen in the rooms, understand what's coming, and, um, you know, they, they're going to they're put it all out for you. You just got to make sure you're there and go take it. Which means you got to be smart. Yeah, yeah. right. right. You got to be smart. What's it like playing for Brian? Uh, you know, I'm, it's yeah, exciting. You know, um, I had him in Miami, and uh, we had a good run. But, uh, you know, we didn't um, – uh, I think he went – I think he came to Minnesota the year after that. I went to Washington. And um, – but, you know, I'm, back, I'm excited to be back. And – uh, back with him and back with the guys. I'm just excited to be on the grass, man. You know, I, I haven't played football in maybe four or five months, so I'm excited to just be back on the grass. Do you think you're you're able to contribute more defensively than you did last year? 100%. Yeah, yeah. 
hundred percent, hundred percent. I think I might have had like two tackles last year, right? so yeah, hundred percent. It's all about getting better, man. Just coming out there, just day by day, getting getting better. Yeah, so it's cool. How much do you think that will really change sort of your, your season year playing the field, having that you know, just um, I feel like I play better with it, just uh -huh. knowing like I'm getting a play call and it's coming through me and then it's all on me. Like if I don't get a play out to everybody, then it's on me. I don't like uh, point the finger, so I'm gonna take the blame for everybody sure. and know it's gonna be good no matter what. And I'm gonna back them up, but um, I feel I feel better when I'm playing with it. Going back to like even high school where you always sort of the main voice in the huddle. That's yeah, just going going back to high school and go back to college. Just seeing from the sideline and keep calling out the plays and stuff, it, it just makes me more confident in the game and knowing what everybody's doing and knowing what I'm doing. So yeah. Could you get the pads on? Yeah, it's, physical, it's, it's out there getting physical now. You know, they're setting the tone like I told him, so it's good. How much of a milestone is it to reach this day and you know football is getting that much closer? Um, after the season last year, I was ready to go out for two weeks, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was ready to get back on the field, so. It's fun to be back out here, just knowing that we came out and uh, had a little ramp up days with the helmets on, a little padded, padded shoulder pads. Uh, now we out here with the pads on for real, so it's getting dirty. A few new faces on that defense. Are you guys feeling like you're building some uh, chemistry and yeah. understanding each other? Yeah, it's, it's all about a brotherhood out here. So uh, we just connecting and getting to know each other and how we how we uh, how we play. So just knowing each other and what's going out there and just gonna build our chemistry, get stronger. What do you see from Cashman? Uh, Cashman's a good player, man. Uh, Coming over from Texas, I, I was watching him a little bit. He's one of the people I looked up to, so he's good. I like him a lot. And how about uh, Grenard? Grenard, yeah, him over there coming from the Texas too. They both so good. Uh, I miss the Neil, but at the same time, Grenard's gonna be in there uh, helping us out too, the same way that he did. So maybe even better. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Man, it was a little like uh, jitter because I'm ready to get out there and get going. But uh, at the end of the day, man, it's just football. I have fun out here with these guys. I got a lot of vets in my room that uh, keep my hair level-headed. You know, Andrew Van Geekle, Jonathan Greenord, uh, Jihad. So, you know, I'm just out here trying to have fun and stack days. How great of a situation is this for you? I mean, you clearly had options after the draft. You chose to sign here. Why did you choose to sign here? You know, just a scheme. Uh, you know, I was watching a lot of tape on what Coach Flo did, and I feel like I fit in it. You know, a lot of movement up front, a lot of things, that, different things he was doing. Uh, from a pass rush standpoint and run stop standpoint, I feel like I fit it the best, and uh, you know I'm ready to get to work. And has all that played out? I mean, going back to even OTAs, mini camp, and now first few days of training camp, everything you thought is it coming to fruition? Absolutely, everything's coming to fruition. You know, they got a good plan for me, so just got to keep stacking days, keep going, and uh, keep rushing forward. All right. So how exactly do you fit in? So how does Flo want to use you? Uh, from from a pass rush standpoint, you know, just uh, get on the edge, I'm a little bit inside. You know, he's moved me all over. You know, I played a little bit uh, inside linebacker, you know, outside linebacker, so kind of all over the defense wherever he sees me. How important is this time now, too? You got some, you, in addition to you, with several new faces, just to kind of all know what you're all doing. Yeah, uh, that's the game of football. Oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, how important is it to kind of get all the new faces all on the, how important is this time to get everyone on the same page knowing where everyone's No, it's a lot of important. You know, it's my first NFL training camp. So just coming out here, learning the playbook, getting in there, starting to understand guys and how they like to rush. You know, some of them like upfield, you know, taking underneath, whatever it is. You know, just getting to understand my teammates, you know, because like I said, it's my first NFL training camp. And then just dealing with them, seeing how they like to do and, you know, just doing little things for them. On the pads, I'm sure everybody already asked you, but how much difference does that make? Uh, I would just say from a run, run tape uh, standpoint, you know, just shooting your hands, able to get in there and shock somebody and do those different things. So getting on the pads, uh, not uh, not much change because, you know, he's already getting a little physical and whatnot, but uh, I mean, it's a great time out here, had fun, and, you know, just ready for the next day. So on your way here today, was the radio louder? Was uh, the tunes <laughs> cranking this morning? No, absolutely. You know, on the way here, I had my headphones on. So I was already locked in, you know, when I woke up this morning because I knew what time it was. So it's just fun getting out here with my teammates and uh, you know enjoying this time. You know, a lot of physical day. Okay, so is your mindset that you need to win a job then? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I feel like that should be anybody's mindset. You know, but if that's not your mindset, you know, I don't know what you're doing. You know, so my mindset. Ken, what do you feel like you've gotten better at since the season last ended? Um, just understanding the game. Um, you know, I've always tried to rely on athletic ability. Um, but that's the difference in you know the NFL, the mental side of the game. Um, focusing on, on yourself, you know, what am I doing with my technique, um, how do I see the game, do I understand what's going on around me, uh, that was a big adjustment for me. With well, the cornerback room just in flux a little bit, how do you feel like you're taking on a little bit more of a leadership role this season? Uh, just showing guys how to be a pro, um, you know, taking care of your body, you know, everybody's going to be hurting, especially in training camp, but um, showing up the same way day in and day out, uh, regardless of the circumstances, um, lead by example.
know. So hopefully the young guys, younger guys, I should say, uh, are watching this video. What was your process? What was your process? Yeah, so I had a film guy that I was watching film with three times a week. That, um, and just, just watching the game, understanding what's going on, um, how adjustments happen, how offenses are trying to attack certain defenses. Um, just brought in my my idea. Who is your film guy? Is this like a coach or a teammate? Or? No, no, he's just like a film junkie. Uh, my agent had put me on to him. Um, his name is Cody. Yeah, he really brilliant guy. Um, and I'm looking forward to continue watching film with him throughout the season. Cody Alexander? No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's a Cody I know from film guy oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. At least, yeah, film guy. But, um, more man coverage, at least what we think in this defense this year. How does that change things for you in your role as compared to more of a zone heavy role last year? Uh, just being able to adjust. Like I said, this off season, I knew what it was going to be. Um, just focusing on technique. Um, how can I put myself in the best position? Uh, trying to use my length, you know. Um, so just being mindful in that area. Um, trying to take advantage of everything that I have already my God given ability. Do you have an early level? Like, this is sure. dang good already. Man, uh, I don't even feel like a. Uh, I reach where I want to be. Um, I know there's so much more I can do. And uh, every day, uh, Coach Cooper, his whole offense is trying to get it out of me, pushing it to that level. So we'll see what we'll see what we do. About. How was life changed since you put pen to paper last week? Uh, financially, everything changed. Um, but still got to come out here and do my job every day, um, continue to get better, and be the best teammate I can be for my teammates on the field and off the field. How was the mindset? Is there some peace of mind now knowing you got that part of it done in your life? Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, and that's what, when you come into this league, you always kind of just elevate your game every year and just to reach this point. Um, it's really uh, surreal because um, a lot of guys don't really make it to that to that second contract or that extension. So uh, just to be able to do that and be in a position, just to take care of my family now, and, uh, it allows me to come out here every day and give a lot of guys. No, no, man, no, no big purchases yet. Um, uh, yeah, we'll see, maybe at the camp or something, but I'm locked in right now. Oh, it's only day one, bad. Yeah. So, oh yeah, uh, like I said, he's gonna be a great rusher. Um, every day, we're getting each other better. Um, off the field, we come off the field. This past week, he, he's asking me questions. I'm asking him questions. Why he does this when, when I sit like this or things like that. Uh, uh, smart kid. He wants he wants it all, and uh, you can you can tell every day. Um, he's coming out here giving his all, but it's been it's been fun for sure. How big of a, a day is it when the pads do go on to let you know football is that much closer? Man, yeah, it, this, this camp finally, that's what it feels like. Uh, and especially being out here in this heat, man, that's when the heat usually comes out when we put the full pads on. But no, it's fun. It's getting back in the rhythm. Uh, we haven't had our pads on since January. Uh, so it's being able to get that, that first day out the way. And now we get to keep stacking days and getting back in the rhythm of things, getting better, uh, competing now, really, uh, being able to be more physical on our block, especially up front. Uh, so it's been fun. Can you talk about the line? Yeah. How would you describe like, the personality of that room? Man, it, it's you kind of you kind of got to be out to yourself because we got dudes that's like it, it, up there we're just goofy, we're loose. Like, um, man, it, it's just it's just a great group of guys. Being able to keep the core uh, year in and year out since I've been here, man, it's been awesome. Um, and, and those guys really pull it out of you. And uh, we have we have a lot of fun on the field. That camaraderie, that's something you noticed right away. For sure, for sure. And I feel like that's a whole locker room uh, ever since I've been here. Uh, Front office has done a great job of like the, the, bringing the right dudes into this to this building, man. And we're all having fun. Uh, we're on the field. We, we're out here working. You know, it's been great. Who's the funniest guy in the line? <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, man, I, I'd probably give it to Brian. He has his days. He love Bo, man. He's silly, goofy. Uh, but yeah, when it's time to go, it's time to go. But yeah, Bo, Bo is definitely funny. You said you you all are between Walter this year, right? Oh man, yeah, Walter is definitely another one too. For sure, we love Walter. Uh, got a little hot out here, but it was fun, man, to see kind of that first little action of what the season's kind of going to look like, you know, with everybody with the pads on. Um, game time situation, we see we had two minutes at the end. It was kind of put us in a realistic game situation. So really excited and understanding uh, we got a lot of work to do, but I like when we start, for sure. How fun is it just to get out here and be physical with people? Man, it's football, man. I think that's the that's the first part. When you establish that part, everything else takes care of itself. So now that we got that out of the way, now we can really start perfecting our craft everywhere else instead of getting the physicality part, which should, which should come naturally, honestly. Going against the first and the second team of offense, what did you think of how you all performed against them? Man, it's good. I think the, the main thing that we're all trying to work towards is having no drop off, whether it's the first team or second team or third team. I think everybody's trying to be the best person best person um, in each group. I mean, honestly, there's, there should be no drop off. You got me, Dallas, um, Gink, you know, um, OP, you know, Bo, Pete Jones, uh, you know, um, AC, all of these guys, we're all trying to get to where we're all at the same, you know, the same type of player. 
um, and on offense as well. You know, O-linemen all have to be the same way, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're preaching as well, and that's how. how uh, how's the adjustment going to Flo's defense? Cool, man. Uh, just going. Just playing fast, understanding how he wants to use me, and, um, and understanding what he wants out of the defense, being more aggressive, playing on their side of the ball. So um, I'm excited just to be able to do the first you know, the first steps of it. Obviously, had a little bit of OTAs, um, but now just adding a little bit more twist to it now that we get more comfortable in the defense, for sure. How does he want to use you? Uh, man, just go. Same way I was doing in uh, Houston in the years past, where I'm just going. Whenever it's my time to go, I go and just try to make plays, be disruptive. So to get ready for a padded practice yep. and hitting, did you put like hot sauce on your eggs this morning? Or, or <laughs> did y'all see it? get yourself ready? <laughs> hey man, listen, it, it, it's just one of those things, if, you, if you're not ready for it when the pass come on, you're in the wrong profession. I mean, you're scared, like they say, you're scared to go to church. But uh, at this point, uh, we already out here, dog. So ain't no, ain't no calling for nobody, no waving no white flags around here. So I'm excited, man. I love putting the pads on long against the going against our brothers, building that camaraderie, uh, iron sharpening iron. Um, and ultimately, we all need strong as our weakest link. Everything you've experienced even going back to March, I mean, clearly you had some free agent. Yeah. You know, I mean, you had choices, right? And you ultimately chose to sign here. Everything right. Everything you've experienced going back to March is a firm your decision to be a Viking. Yeah, man, this is, it, it all proves it right. I mean, I just feel like I love how they embrace me. I love the uh, fan base. I love the coaching staff, the players, the team. Um, everything, just they understand we're all after. I mean, I'm trying to get a ring. I, mean, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing out here if we're not trying to go for a ring. And that's where we all have that same mindset. Um, and I can feel that instantly when I walk in here because everybody's hungry and want to work towards that common goal. So um, it makes my job easier not having to pull somebody up or pull somebody along because, hell, they're, they're pushing me, you know. They, they're, they're more hungry than I am, and I love that because um, I'm going to bring it every single day. And I, and I know they're going to do the same for sure. With the secondary kind of influx, do you feel like you have more responsibility to try to get home often, more often? Hey, man, Russian coverage, man. Uh, we do our part up front. They ain't got to worry about that and vice versa. Um, I think at the same time, um, they make them pack the football, it's a wrap. So that's all I need. You give me, make them pack that football at least once, we're going to be there. That's our job. So um, they're doing a hell of a job. They, they continue to grow. There are a lot of hungry guys back there. They all want that one spot. Um, and I love that. I love a, the competition that is everybody around. And, um, and there's it's no, it's no lackadaisical stuff going on at all because you always got to be on your toes at all times. Pads come on. Obviously, this is where you can show people that, okay, you look good in shorts, but let's see how you really play. Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is a day that people get anxious for. It's a day that people are excited for, nervous for, um, but it's fun. I mean, this is what football is, so no one's done this since January of, of last year. So um, it's fun to get out here and try to build the identity of this football team slowly and surely. You look at how this line is going to come together. You're basically the anchor returning with new pieces around it. So how do you help these guys or learn from them what they need from you to be effective? How does that process work here in camp? Yeah, you know, I think what is interesting here is we don't, yes, we see ourselves as like a defensive line unit, but really defense is an 11 person a game. So um, we want to be obviously the tip of the spear being up front, the most physical group, reestablishing the line of scrimmage and obviously bringing the people, the new guys up to speed on how Coach Flo calls games and what he demands out of us. But it's a full 11 defense thing. So, um, you know, I think it is nice having another year under the same defensive coordinator. We're all able to understand what worked for us last year, where were areas that each of us individually needed to grow. And so as we get these great new free agents in, the strong rookie class in, and um, you know, I think, what is there, two or three of us going on another year in the system, um, it is a lot easier to be able to communicate our expectations in areas that and this is exactly how it's going to come out in a game. And I know you read this as a four-man surface, but we're going to end up going on this. You're going to have to, have to, I mean, knowing how Coach Flo operates and knowing how teams attack us in our system, um, you know, daylight's ahead of where we were last year, not knowing what our scheme exactly was going to be and how teams were going to prepare for us. So for a youngster like Dallas who walks in here mm -hmm. and just like, holy buckets, this isn't something I've ever seen. You have to kind of say, it, it'll come to you, it'll come to you. Yeah, you know, somebody like Dallas, a lot of those times, even if you're wrong, you're right because you're going 100 miles an hour and you go make a play. I mean, uh, Coach Flores has a funny saying. It's, it's kind of like, I don't care who gives me a good idea. I'll take it from the lunch lady or the, or the custodian staff. If you give me a good idea, I'll use it. And so some of our plays that we've put in have actually been somebody messed, messed, messed up their assignment and it worked out. And we're like, oh, maybe we should do that. Uh, not to say that Dallas is a person who's done that, but a player who has so much genetic talent and, and so much twitch to him that, um, you know, he's he's being a sponge as much as he can. I see him constantly in some of those vets in his his room and asking the right questions to the right people. And, uh, you know, he'll have a very high ceiling in this league. Last thing for you, just about the back end right now and what they're going through yeah. with the bodies that you're looking for back there yeah. and trying to get guys ready to play. How do you as vets help those young players through that transition? 
Yeah, um, you know, I'll speak specifically to the, the couple injuries that came up, you know, some very serious, some not as much. This is the worst part of this game, man. It, it's, it's horrible. Um, I hate it. You know, I've, I've been a player who's been injured before. Every player will at some point. It's, it's terrible. And so that, that's going to hurt our team regardless. And, you know, the defensive backs have incredible leadership in that room. I think we had two captains on this team that are defensive backs. And, um, you know, they're, they're leading their crew the right way. I think that the mental gymnastics of going from year one to year two or from college to year one, year two to year three, everyone's fighting something different. Each training camp, you have to fight something different if it's physical or if it's mental. We all kind of have a different purpose. Uh, a different omen that you're fighting and so I know for some of those guys going into year two going into year three or just coming in um, they each have their own individual battle that they're trying to either prove to themselves or prove to a coach or prove to the world or um, find who they're going to be in this league and um, the good thing is that most of those guys are asking questions and most of those guys are trying to seek help it's not like a you know Superman I can do it my way or the highway most guys understand that this is a league that you're going to need some help and um, they have a room with unbelievable talent to lean on